For many Nigerians, the sad news of the death of Uigwe, one of the nation's finest businessmen and banking executives, feels like a dream of the night. This next report attempts to follow the professional pedigree and profile of Herbert Oyemumbu Uigwe. Dr. Herbert Uigwe was a visionary leader, philanthropist, and founder of Uigwe University. In his professional life, he was the Group Chief Executive Officer of Access Holdings PLC, also known as Access Corporation, a multinational financial services organization that offers commercial banking, lending, payment, pension, insurance, and asset management services. Access Corporation is headquartered in Lagos, Nigeria, and operates through a network of more than 600 branches and service outlets spanning three continents, 18 countries, and 50 plus million customers managed by over 28,000 employees. Access Bank, the corporation's banking business, is one of Africa's largest retail banks by customer base and total assets. For eight years until May 2022, Dr. Wigwe led Access Bank PLC as its group managing director and chief executive officer through an extraordinary growth period. Some of the accolades accorded him include Banker of the Year 2020 by Leadership Awards, African Banker of the Year 2021 by African Banker Award, and Best Banking CEO 2021 by Global Brands Magazine's Awards. A passionate advocate for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Dr. Wigwe spoke frequently at business forums and conventions, strongly encouraging a global business commitment to the achievement of the goals. In his role as Group Managing Director of Access Bank PLC, Dr. Wigwe was the first African sponsor of the United Nations Global Compact Initiative. He was a board member of Nigeria's Business Coalition Against AIDS, which leads major businesses in Nigeria in fighting HIV and AIDS at all levels of intervention within the health system and the private sector workforce. Similarly, he advocated for the eradication of malaria in Africa and was a partner of the Corporate Alliance on Malaria in Africa to achieve this objective. Dr. Herbert Wigwe's commitment to the development of Nigeria and Africa extends to numerous initiatives. At the onset of the COVID-19 global crisis, for example, Dr. Wigwe swiftly responded to Nigeria's private and public health care's inability to respond effectively by galvanizing support for and co-leading the formation of CACOVID, or Coalition Against COVID-19, comprising of the Central Bank of Nigeria, major financial institutions in Nigeria, and key stakeholders in Nigeria's private sector. Dr. Wigwe led the coalition to support the federal government in mitigating the impact of the pandemic and reopening the economy. Dr. Herbert Wigwe, Access Bank and UNICEF collaborators to support vulnerable children, orphans, and internationally displaced persons in the northern part of Nigeria. To raise awareness and funds for this purpose, the bank organizes and hosts annual high-profile Access Bank UNICEF Charity Shield Polo Tournament in Nigeria, London, and South Africa. In 2023, Dr. Herbert Wigwe embarked on a transformative journey by founding Wigwe University with a vision to ignite Africa's potential for prosperity and nurture fearless leaders who will change the course of history. He introduced an institution that is set to rival top universities around the world. Wigwe University promises to elevate educational standards while creating a unique African experience. Dr. Herbert Wigwe believed that education is a key to unlocking Africa's potential and through Wigwe University, he sought to leave a legacy that would contribute immensely to the continent's greatness. His commitment to education was rooted in the belief that nurturing intellectual capital is pivotal for societal development. Dr. Wigwe envisioned Wigwe University as a beacon of knowledge, innovation, and excellence, designed to empower future leaders and contribute to the socio-economic advancement of the continent. This endeavor represented his profound dedication to shaping a brighter future for Africa, making education the cornerstone of his enduring legacy. In 2023, in recognition of his exemplary service to his country, Dr. Herbert Wigwe was awarded the Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, one of the nation's top honors. 
Dr. Wigbe was an alumnus of the Harvard School Business Executive Management Program. He held honorable doctorate degrees from the University of Port Harcourt, Gombe State University and University of Nigeria, master's degrees in law, banking and international finance and financial economics from the University of London, University of North Wales and University of London respectively. He also held a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Dr. Herbert Wigwe, CON, very sad Saturday, been described as a national tragedy, Rufai. I mean, it's a national tragedy, national mourning, but today my heart goes out to Dr. Herbert Wigwe's parents, uh, Mr. Sh I think Dr. Shingle and his mother that are still alive. I just pray for them, for the fortitude to bear the loss. In our culture, it's a hard one for parents to bury their children. And it's a sad one that they're going through. I just pray God heals them at this point in time. Uh, also for friends, family left behind, children still left behind. I pray for healing at this point in time. I mean, what else are we gonna say? He saw it all. In fact, he came, he saw, and would have wanted him to keep conquering and doing a lot to be able to see his dream materialized like the Herbert Wigwe University. But one thing about dream is once a man puts the foundation down, then everything will coalesce together to make that dream reality. And I'd like to say, you know, most of his dreams must not die. Herbert lives and his dreams must live too. In through all his endeavor, his charitable works and university and everything he stood for. And lastly, because there is no time. I think it's the words that we've been seeing that rings true. That says it's not the length in your life that matters, but the breath in your life. Although life cut short at a prime age, but Herbert did have a lot of breath. And it's that breath that connects all of us today. Herbert leaves. He's not dead. Well, yesterday I had the opportunity on another program, uh, This Day Live, uh, to pay a short tribute to both uh, Herbert Wigwe and uh, Abimbola Ogumbanjo, uh, who died in that crash. And we commiserate with both families, uh, the Wigwe family of Isiopo in River State, to which uh, Herbert Wigwe was an illustrious son uh, who remained connected with his roots. And one of his last projects was investment in education, setting up the Wigwe University, which was already you know, uh, admitting uh, students and had appointed a vice chancellor. And that was supposed to be, en to end up as a major, you know, uh, legacy uh, project. It was not only in the area of education that Herbert Wigwe distinguished himself. He was also very instrumental to the Lagos City uh, Marathon, which incidentally took place in Lagos uh, the same day that he died in that uh, unfortunate uh, incident. In the profile, uh, by Arise News, we've also seen that he was a great supporter of many causes. Uh, when Nigeria got, uh, had issues with COVID, like the rest of the world, he was one of the you know, uh, illustrious uh, persons who stepped forward. Of course, more people, most people know him as a consumer banker, first as an accountant, starting with Coopers and Librand, and then going to Guarantee Trust, and becoming part of the team, uh, the co-founder of uh, uh, you know, Access Bank. And Access Bank, when it took over in 2014, it grew that business uh, to the very height. And he ended up as the group CEO of uh, Access Holdings, which became one of the major symbols fulfilling the idea of African integration and becoming one of the, you know, our strongest major financial institutions, not just in Africa, but also uh, the rest of the world commiserate with all the members of the Access uh, family and all persons who were privileged to have been, to have encountered him and to have benefited uh, from his uh, brilliance and culture of excellence and devotion and commitment. The lesson from the death, not just of Wigwe and all the persons involved, is that uh, life happens. They say life is short, but art is long. Wigwe was also a supporter of the artistic uh, community promoting, you know, uh, the, the visual arts. And then uh, uh, Ogumbanjo, uh, 
also a very illustrious son of uh, Irwan near Ijebude in Ogun State. He rose to become the chairman of the uh, AGS group in Nigeria, and under his uh, leadership, he established further a culture of excellence in that regard. And he was also a leading uh, commercial lawyer, corporate lawyer, managing partner of uh, Chris Ogunbanjo LP, the law firm that had been established uh, by his father. And, uh, you know, he specialized in the area, not just of commercial law, but also specifically uh, maritime law. He was also in his own right a philanthropist, supporting cervical cancer, uh, cervical cancer uh, courses and donating generously to that. And also in his uh, home community of Irunwa, uh, he was recognized in 2018 as the Bar Mufi of Irunwa, that's the father of uh, uh, lawyers, a leading lawyer uh, in his own uh, community. And of course he had the national honor of uh, OFR. So two friends, you know, traveling together with the, you know, family also on board uh, meeting the sudden and unfortunate uh, end. In both regards, you know, our prayer is that there will be enough good persons on both sides of the family and also to, with whom they were associated who would continue and sustain the legacy that both men have uh, left behind. Well, it's truly a tragedy, but it is also uh, a lesson uh, for all of us that look, uh, what is it that the poet says that death will come when it will come, because it's a price that all mortars uh, will pay eventually as biological and chemical beings. And nobody can determine, you know, either their entry or their exit. Two major events in a man's life over which he cannot personally uh, preside. Overwhelming tragedy, shocking beyond comprehension, were some of the words used by the president to describe the unfortunate incidents that happened over the weekend, taking the lives of Nigerians, prominent amongst whom were Dr. Herbert Wigwe and, of course, uh, Chris Ogubanjo. Um, Abimbala Ogubanjo, my apologies. It's really sad, um, and we pay our tribute to two fine gentlemen, also uh, Mrs. Chizoba Wigwe and Herbert Chizi uh, uh, Wigwe as well, who was also on that helicopter. Unfortunately, um, there, there seems to be no words to fully capture the level of devastation. In the words of the governor of Abia State, it's a blow too big. It's too big a blow. And that's been the words that have cycled throughout the weekend. How do you describe the feelings of the parents of the deceased? How do you describe the other three children, the feelings of the other three children left behind? Our hearts and our, our thoughts are definitely with Tochi, Hannah and David. His three other children would have to bear the loss of their parents and also one of their siblings. And just to think of the life that he lived, one of the things that struck the most beyond him being a consummate banker is that almost every sector has some, had something to say about him because his influence and reach was far beyond the corporate boardroom. But in art, he was a supporter of Art X and, you know, one comment said they couldn't imagine um, the next edition without his massive support. In terms of sports, we recognize him with the Lagos City Marathon. Uh, we look at him in the area of, of, of philanthropy and the number of lives that Dr. Wigwe touched just you know, beyond being able to begin to count, stories have emerged over the weekend of how he has helped people, how he had paid school fees, his passion for education as well, in governance, in social policy, so many areas. And that's why it's been described as a national tragedy because his life touched almost every facet in terms of the different sectors in Nigeria. In, in many areas, he was a huge supporter of that. In gender equity for women, we know how much he was passionate about women and through his um, organizations pushed the W agenda very, very big on Africa. He, one of the things he said when was when was setting up the Wigwe University was that he hoped that it would be one of the finest institutions, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. So many things to say about him. So many people across different sectors mourning this great loss of this great man. And so we just pray for the for comfort for his family and for the nation as a whole.